Hey guys, what's up? It's Pixelate here and welcome back to another Sims 4 news and info video. Today, I'm here with the first look at gameplay for The Sims 4 Island Living provided by EA in The Sims 4 Island Living live stream that was held in Hollywood, California this weekend. I'm not even gonna ramble about this. I'm just gonna jump right into the video and put it right on your screen for you guys. I'm seriously so excited for the gameplay. I did have several hours to capture content, which I can release to you tomorrow. And I'll just say this, you guys will love the features in this game. There are a few things, yes, that I was kind of disappointed about comparing it back to Island Paradise, which I can't say anything about yet because of Embargo, but I will say there are tons of things that I know you guys will love, and The Sims team did a great job at making sure the gameplay in this pack is very detailed. The features that we did get are very in-depth and very hands-on and very fun to explore, and I can say they do have tons of replay value. Without further ado, I'm going to show the gameplay portion of the live stream right now. Yeah, you know, I'm getting a little bit hot. I'm not someone who likes to dwell on a beach too much. <laughs> yeah, what if I want to go in the water, what's going to be happening there? So we're very excited. So for the first time in The Sims 4, our Sims are going to be able to walk right into the open water I'm and nice. we're opening up. Yes. Open water gameplay. She's been teasing which, the water. Yeah, yeah well, this point, uh, it's them. I mean, like you saw in the trailer, she walks right in. Our <laughs> Sims are going to be able to do that, and you can snorkel in the water. There's swimming, floating, um, and there's also those pretty awesome aqua zips. Yeah. If you're in a hurry to get where you're going. <laughs> so, what inspired you guys to introduce this kind of ocean gameplay this time? Yeah, well, we've taken The Sims to a lot of different worlds and a lot of different places, but we hadn't yet really played with the idea of where the land and the water meet and really bring you bring you into an ocean environment, which seems like a great addition. Absolutely. I mean, you know, when I think of tropical islands, I'm thinking of, you know, like palm trees, ocean waves, relaxing on the beach. So, like, tell me more about this world. What can I actually do in it? Yeah, so the island of Sulani will have all of those things and more. It really is the perfect place to unplug and enjoy this natural feel. So you can explore all these little alcoves. You can live closer to the coast, or you can live higher higher up towards the hills. Or What's wrong? Yeah. So, no, wait, is there... There's an active volcano here. <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry, you're just yeah. one, you were selling me the dream of living on an island. Well, now I'm not sure I really want to go there. <laughs> so it is a real island. <laughs> most islands are formed by volcanoes. Yeah. Just, well, don't so you get know. nitpicky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we had to put this active volcano in there. Now, you don't have to live next to it, but right. the riskier Sims may choose to live near. Oh, oh uh, yeah, and then, oh, some Kel Surprise. Gets angry. Something you gotta watch out for happens. those lava bombs. <laughs> Don't, um, don't, no, no, don't, don't do what? it. Like, don't. This, oh, the Sims, I mean, don't. I don't know how that was going to go, I mean, go, what do you expect is going to happen when you touch something yeah. really, really hot? It so, probably yeah. burns. Beautiful locale, slightly dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what other surprises are in store on this island? I mean, I, for one, want to know if I can befriend any kind of cute animals there. What kind of Absolutely. animals can we befriend? Well, I mean, it wouldn't be the Sims if we didn't let you make friends with some of the animals. Exactly. Um, so in this case, the one we're really excited about is the dolphin. Oh. Yeah. So our, our art team and animators <laughs> just blew away the expectation any, of this. Any the dolphins research so much trips fun. like the Battlefield oh. team just going off to somewhere hot? No, like, oh, we're going to talk to them about, about how they got to do that. Yeah, clearly we <laughs> missed the angle on that one. But. but they're so cute and you get to make like a really nice friend with them and maybe they'll do tricks for you or squirt water in your face. You Absolutely. Know? <laughs> well, and then we also, we added a bunch of tropical fish to the water too. Yes. So we really wanted to get those coral reefs around the island to feel lush and full. And so that meant That's more fish. Lovely. I mean, I think, I mean, I don't know. We don't have fish like that in the UK. I mean, we might do, but the the water's so murky, I've never seen them. So. I'm sure they're <laughs> down there. I mean, they're they must lovely. be. What do you put with the chips? <laughs> right. I'm sure they're what beautiful. So at least they fish. taste delicious. You have that going for it. <laughs> I mean, I, I think the island looks, this looks so relaxing. Obviously, it's not really about vacation. It's also, you know, it's, it's about kind of working there as well. But like, um, what's kind of like the feel and the vibe of the island going to be like? You know, I think it's one of those things we talk a lot about in the team is capturing what it would be like to really <laughs> live on that island. It's not just yeah. a place you vacation, but yeah. we wanted this to be a place that's home for your Sims. Or, yeah. you know, so, tricks to be played on you. <laughs> well, that happens too. Well, yeah. and so there's lots to do on the beach. You saw sun tanning, sun burning, like building today. castles. The whole family can go out and play together, find seashells, or the mischievous Sims, you know, knock things down. Well, and... Aqua zips. I just I, I want to say it again. No, but they're zips. so good. The, the, what are they called again? Aqua zips. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's there's a lot to look at, so you've got to take time to really explore it all. 
Okay, so obviously we've established that Solani is like a great place for Sims to kind of kick back. And, uh, you know, what? But what if my Sims, you know, they don't want to like, I can't personally lie on a beach for longer than about 30 minutes to get really bored. What if they want to get their hands dirty? Well, I'm very excited Market. about a new thing that we're introducing. If your Sims want a new career to take care of this island, you can actually become a conservationist. And your job is going to be to keep this ecosystem looking beautiful. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it was certainly one of the big goals was a way for your Sims to kind of care for their world yeah. and make it a better place. Yeah, and obviously, you know, very relevant with everything that's going on today in the world and how everyone's kind of a lot more kind of aware. So was that kind of what inspired you guys to, to, to bring that in? You know, I think there's a few things that really hit us. I mean, the first was just, it's something we all care about. A lot of us on the dev team worry about the environment and what's mm -hmm. going on. But we talked about the idea that this island's this closed ecosystem. And so your actions and choices are going to have a lot more impact. And so something new we've added here and we're really excited about is the island actually changes over time. So if you're taking care of it, oh, right. okay. it it'll actually become more lush. You'll see more greenery, brighter, beautiful flowers. And there's Lindsay's favorite part. More butterflies. <laughs> so she really cares about. It's but it also uh, today happens to be World Oceans Day, which is amazing. It's, that's, that's exactly right. what we were talking about. We like, totally how do we take care of these ecosystems? <laughs> so obviously, Solani is really, really beautiful. You know, you can kind of go out there, but like, sometimes you want to make a little bit of cash. I mean, you yeah. know, like barbecue meat, I presume is expensive. I don't know, <laughs> but uh, so how can we make some extra simoleons while well, we're there? Like we said, yeah. we wanted to make this place you live, which yeah. means you've got to have a way to earn some simoleons. Yeah, and so the gap year has to end sometime. Yeah. You have <laughs> to go home and earn some money as much uh, as we So have. we added a couple like odd jobs and things that you could kind of work um, on the hours you wanted to, mm. right? And so we've added the ability to make fishing more of a career and then also the lifeguard so you can get your tan while you're working. If you want to spend more time in the water, you can be a dive instructor. There's a lot of different ways to just pick up a job when you want and earn a little bit of money. Yeah. So I suppose one of the important things as well is, as it's not a vacation as you are actually kind of living on this island, um, obviously, you know, you have to kind of be aware and know what's kind of part of local culture because you're not just there on holiday and you go in and go out, you're living there. So what kind of, uh, you know, the side of the culture of the island can we actually see within? Right. Yeah. yeah. You, this is a place that you live and the locals are super friendly, actually, and are going to come and help you out with all sorts of different things as well, you explore the island. Things. Oh, yeah. yeah. You were talking about this the other day, like yeah. actually like all the neighbors are really, really helpful and help, yeah, yeah. And help you. you know, like, like if a fire happens to break out, your neighbor might bust in and help you put out that yeah. fire. That's lovely. That's what <laughs> they're so nice. should do. So, but they also have their own traditions, their own sort of uh, activities that you might be able to join in. Mm. So you might stumble across a barbecue that they've started in town or a little festival to sort of celebrate things going on. And um, you might even stumble into a kava party. Sorry, what a kava party? What's a kava party? <laughs> so a kava is a special island drink that your sim can learn how to make and share with their friends on the island. It's one of the many delicacies you'll learn kind of exploring life in Sulani. Yeah, I think it's one of those things we talked about was we wanted to have this island have a little history to it. Just yeah. some sense of feeling of some people have lived here a long time and there are traditions that are unique to this place, the world of Sulani. So how can we kind of learn more about the island's history like when we're there? How do we do that? Hmm. Aside yeah. from, you know, drinking kava. <laughs> well, I mean, that might be one experience you should try. But on top of that, something else the team was really excited about adding is there are these elementals around the island that are kind of these spirits, these ancients who care a lot about Sulani. And, you know, they want to see their world taken care of. And when you do good things, they might be really happy and pleased. Mm -hmm. And if you're bad to the island, I don't think they, they may not approve. It. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you know, so like just stick in the tail. <laughs> yeah. Well, and we also we added some new traits um, with this pack that we wanted to really let if your Sims are super in touch with the land or that's important to you, you know, mm -hmm. they can really get in touch with the water or the land and unlock some new behaviors. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so from like what we've kind of seen in all the videos, it feels really inspired by like Polynesian uh, culture. So how do yeah. you kind of go about kind of educating yourself to like bring that into the game? Well, every time we make a world, we want to learn uh, a, a lot about the influences that could go into that place. Because it's not a particular real place, but it's inspired by real places. So short of flying there and researching it ourselves, we what reached out. What that into? I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Well, EA is a big global company. So we were able to reach out to a lot of our friends and coworkers across the company and say, hey, we're looking at exploring a place inspired by this culture. Yeah. And could you share with us some patterns or iconography or symbols or even items that mean something to this culture right. so we can try and create them in a way that feels rich and feels authentic? Well, questions just like, what was iconic to you? Or what do you right. remember when you think back to living in that place? Right. And some of our specific like decor 
more items came exactly from those recommendations, which is really cool. It's these nice touches that I hope make it feel familiar while still feeling like a new Sims world. Yeah. So not to make light of all that, because I think that's fantastic, <laughs> but I really feel like I've been quite patient up until this point, and you haven't really mentioned it yet. What mermaids! What <laughs> is going on? Come on, let's cut to the chase. Mermaids! Mermaids, tell us everything. There yes. are mermaids. Yes, so mermaids are in the pack. <laughs> Yes. Um, and I know lots of players are going to be wondering. It is uh, a very fully featured call. You can yep. take them into cast. You can create and style your mermaid. Lots of different tales. Um, it's a lot of fun. But yes. also, you know, the mermaids, they can do a little bit more. Obviously, they're very in touch with the ocean life. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I'd recommend your mermaid meet a dolphin. Uh, that yes. might work out for you. <laughs> um, but lastly, the mermaids have some some pretty cool powers that yeah. you might want to discover. powers? Can we call yeah, them that? Yeah, we could say yeah. mermaid powers. powers. Sounds good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> can you tell us what they so, are? There's still a bit of mystery no? to the mermaids. <laughs> like, don't ask me that. They are, they are definitely worth exploring. So <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on them. Alrighty, you guys. So that concludes the gameplay portion of the live stream for the sims 4 island living that was held this weekend now i want to know what you guys think are you excited what are you looking forward to most in this expansion pack judging off of the trailer i am looking forward to the dolphins the most oh my gosh i can't say anything else because of embargo so i'm only allowed to talk about what's in the trailer but I am so excited for the dolphins and the mermaids. Like I'm not even into like occult sims that much. I'm not into like witches and vampires and mermaids and all of that, but just seeing how they work in this game is so amazing. And I know you guys will love it. I want to share more, but I can't yet. I'm just going to say you will not be disappointed. I love you guys so much. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Of course, if you did, be sure to give it a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites. Subscribe and ding the bell next to the subscribe button to receive notifications for any type of future upload on the channel. You can follow me on social media to stay up to date on the latest Sims news. I also post lots of Sims memes, so if you like memes and you love to laugh and you love The Sims, then follow me on Twitter. A link to that and many other social media platforms will be down in the description box below, and I will talk to all of you guys later. Bye, everyone.